Welcome to the exploration into the world of full stack web development. Today we're going to be unlocking the secrets of websites, how they function from front end to back end in a friendly, easy way to understand them. Let's get started. Imagine a website as a car. The client side, what you see and you interact with, is the car's body. The HTML is kind of like the frame. It's the basic structure or the chassis of the car. It's the foundation, what everything else is built upon. CSS then steps in, giving style and design to our websites. Much like the paint and design elements, make the car look sleek and stylish. So the CSS makes the website look flashy and engaging. Lastly, the JavaScript is the engine under the hood. It's the powering of the car's functionality, making everything interactive and dynamic. Now let's look under the hood or rather inside the motor. This is where the requests from your browsers are processed. Think of the server side as the internal mechanics of your car, hidden but crucial. Here is where you find server side languages like Node.js, Python, PHP, and others. They work a lot like the gearbox in the transmission or the crank inside the motor. They process the data, handle the logic, and ensure that everything is running smoothly. They respond to the client's requests, fetch data, and perform operations, much like a car's transmission ensures the right amount of power is delivered to the wheels from from the user inside the car. Connecting the client to the server is usually done through some kind of API. Akin to the vehicle's control systems, it has a set of rules and protocols. The car only goes as fast as the driver wants through recognizing how far the pedal is pushed down inside the car. The car turns right and left based on the user turning the steering wheel to the right or to the left. The driver or the client in this situation is able to communicate with the engine and the transmission and the tires through the pedal and the steering wheel. Through this, system using HTTP methods such as get and post takes the information requested and received much like the driver is able to communicate with the car. What about the data storage? Here is where databases come into play. Think of them as a storage compartment such as the trunk of the car. It's able to hold all the essential data that you might need to place into it. Some of this information might include your username, your email, your password, your phone number, and other information like this. And whenever you as a client want something out of the database, you make a request through the API that goes to the server that then requests from the database the information you need. The database sends the information to the server. The server sends the information back to you through the API. In full stack websites, all of these elements work together seamlessly. When you interact with a website, like turning the key to your car's ignition, it sends a request to the server. The server processes the request, interacts with the database if needed, and responds back. The client side then takes the response and updates what you see on your web page that you have refreshed or made a request from. Much like the car responds to your controls and navigation through the road. And that's the journey through a full stack website and its complexities and yet how it works. It functions much like a well-designed car. Thanks for going on this exploration through how websites work.